Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss some problem based on first model of convening theory that is MM1 infinite FCFS. Here M stand for poison arrival or exponential inter arrival time. Second M stand for poison departure or we can say that exponential service time. One stand for single server. Infinite stand for infinite capacity of the system and FCF stand for first come first served. Friends, I had already discussed this problem in Hindi. If you want to watch in Hindi, I had provided link in the description. Also, I had discussed this model one in detail and I had provided the link of the playlist in which all videos of Kevinning theory are available. Now, before discussing the problem, I will discuss some important methods which are going to use in solving this problem. So first is Lambda. What is Lambda? Lambda is the average customer arrival rate or simply we can say that average number of arrivals per unit time. Okay. Then Mu. Mu represents average arrival, sorry, average service rate or average number of customer served per unit time. Okay. Now let's discuss some important methods. Whenever you are asked find the expected number of customers in the system, in this case you will use this method. Expected number of customer in the system is represented by LS which is equal to lambda upon mu minus lambda. Okay. Second one is whenever you are asked find the expected or average number of customer in the queue. Okay. So, you will multiply the above method by lambda upon mu. Okay. That is number of customer in the system multiplied by lambda upon mu. You will get number of customer in the queue. Okay. Friends, I suggest you please watch this video step by step till end. I am going to provide you some easy tricks for remembering these methods and solving these problems. Now, just remember the first formula. And remember that if you want to find the number of customer in the queue, you have just mul multiply this lambda upon mu. Okay. Now after that, if you are asked, find the average waiting time in the system. Okay. You simply have to divide the number of customer in the system by lambda. That is LS divided by lambda. You will get the average waiting time in the system. Okay. This is the simple trick you have to remember which after solving I will get when I will divide this by lambda I will get 1 upon mu minus lambda okay after that you have to find average waiting time in the queue okay you just simply uh, divide the number of customer in the queue by lambda okay you will get average waiting time in the queue okay then after that you have to find sometime you will ask to find the average length of non-empty queue you have to remember this method that is mu upon mu minus lambda. Okay. Then next method is probability that there are n customer in the system. This method we have derived when we follow the first model of cleaning theory. Okay. That is lambda upon mu raised power n 1 minus 1 upon mu. Okay. Where rho is equal to lambda upon mu. This is traffic intensity or we can say that traffic power. Next method is probability that there is nobody in the system. Okay. This we have also derived when we follow the first formula of cleaning theory. Okay. P0 1 minus lambda upon mu. Next formula is probability that there is at least one customer or Q is busy. Okay. So it is PB 1 minus P0. At least one customer as we already learned in the probability that if you want to find at least one customer so 1 minus p0 okay now let us discuss the problem here is the problem now from the problem first of all we will find out the lambda and mu because all the method which you have seen only lambda and mu are being used okay so your first work is to find out the lambda and mu okay here a television repairman 
finds that the time spent on his job. A television repairman spent his time on job and has exponential distribution. Okay, with a mean of thirty minutes. Now you have to remember one trick. If before the given time there is rate word, okay, then you will just write thirty. Okay, that is if the word rate is before thirty, you have to just write mu is equal to thirty because this is service. Service being served, a repairman is spending his time on job means he is spending on service. Is it means that this is exponential service time distribution. Okay. It means that this is mu, and here mu will be one upon thirty. Why mu will be one upon thirty? Because there is no use of rate word before thirty. Okay, that is mean of thirty. So I will write mu is equal to one upon thirty. Now these are in minutes, and here it is in hours. So I will convert this in hours, and then I will multiply by sixty. So I will get two set per hour. Okay, that is a tele television repairman is. Is serving two sets of TV per hour. Okay. After that, here he repairs the set in order in which they came. Now he repairs the set in which in the order in which the TV sets came. It means that he served on the basis of first come first served. Okay. So it means that two assumptions of model one are satisfied. That is, first is Exponential service time. Okay, then first come first served, and the third one is single server because television repairman is a single man. Okay, if the arrival of set follows Poisson distribution, now after that the arrival of set follows Poisson distribution. It means this is also satisfied. Okay, an average rate of here there is a rate, so I will directly write lambda is equal to eight per. 10 hour so 10 by 8 okay that is 5 upon 4 sets per hour okay here in this question you didn't find anywhere the capacity of the system it means that the capacity is infinite so this one now all the assumptions of model 1 are satisfied so simply you can say that this problem belongs to model 1 okay this is how you determine whether this problem belongs to model 1 or 2 or any other model okay So after that, we have to find out expected number of TV sets in the system. Okay, in the system you have to find number of customers. So I will use the method of number of customer in the system. So expected number of TV sets in the system. Okay, here the method is LS lambda upon mu minus lambda. Okay, after putting the value, you will get two sets approximately. Okay, after that next. Average time TV set has to wait before being served. Now the TV sets before being served have to wait in the system and in the queue. So I will find out both average time TV set spent in the system, okay, before being served, and average waiting time for the TV sets in the queue. Here the waiting time for the TV sets in the queue is LS upon lambda. That is. L where LS is the number of TV sets in the system, so two upon five by four, it is one point six hours approximately. Okay. After that, average waiting time for TV sets in the queue. Here I didn't find the expected number of TV sets in the queue, so I will not use the method LQ upon lambda because LQ is not available to me. Okay. So I will use this one. So waiting time is equal to lambda upon mu into mu minus lambda. After putting the value, I will get zero point eight three hours. Okay. Now the third part: expected or average idle time for repair man. Okay. Now we have to determine the idle time of repair man. Here, first of all, I will find the busy time of the repair man. Okay. Now it is given that. There are eight hours in a day. Okay, he works for eight hours in a day. So, number of hours for which repair man busy in eight hours will be eight hours multiplied by traffic intensity. That is rho, and rho is lambda by mu. Okay, so 
8 into lambda upon mu is 5 by 8. Okay, that is 5 hours. It means that the repairman remain busy for 5 hours. Okay, so idle time for repairman will be 8 hours of a day minus the time he remains busy. That is 8 minus 5, that is 3 hours. So the idle time of a repairman is 3 hours. Okay, after that, average Q length. Okay, the average non empty Q length is mu upon mu minus lambda where is 2 minus 2 minus 5 by 4 so after simplifying I will get 2.66 that is 3 customers approximately okay now this is our first problem based on coining theory after that I will discuss second problem now this is very important example I am going to discuss with you trucks at a platform way bridge way bridge is a platform where the vehicles are being fitted okay so the trucks at a platform they arrives according to poison distribution okay the time required to wait where the truck follows an exponential distribution it means that first two assumptions of the model one are satisfied okay and the trucks will come on the you know, will be served on the base of first come first served after that there is a single platform okay of platform it means there is a single platform it means there is a single server after that arrival rate is 12 trucks per hour here there is a rate before 12 okay so i can simply write lambda is equal to 12 okay so here i had written lambda is equal to 12 trucks per day okay and the mean service rate here it is also rate so i can simply write mu is equal to 18 trucks per day okay now determine now from this problem you had seen that nowhere it is discussed about capacity it means that the capacity is infinite and it is served on trucks are served on first come first serve it means that this problem is based on model one okay now here the first part i am going to discuss is what is the probability that no trucks are in the system okay so for this I had a matter P0 which is equal to 1 minus lambda upon mu okay so lambda upon mu is equal to 12 by 18 after simplifying I will get 0 0.333 okay when I will convert it into percentage I will divide this by 100 and I will get 33.33 percent okay so probability that there is no truck in the system is 33.33 percent okay after that second part find average number of trucks waiting for service okay here the trucks waiting for service it means that the trucks are standing in a queue so i have to find out the average trucks waiting for service in a queue okay so for that i will find average number of trucks waiting for service that is lq okay which is lambda square upon mu into mu minus lambda okay that is 12 upon 18 into 18 minus 12 after simplifying I will get 1.33 trucks okay now next find the average time a truck wait for weighing being service begin it means that before service begin the truck is waiting in a queue it means that we have to find out the average time a truck wait in a queue okay so simply here I had already find it the number of trucks waiting for service that is number of trucks in a queue so I will simply divide this by lambda okay so average time truck wait for weighing service begin will be lambda q upon lambda sorry lq upon lambda which is 1.33 divided by 12 so I will get 0 0.11 hours that is 53.3 minutes okay now next find the probability that an arriving truck will have to wait for service so next we have to find out the probability that arriving truck will have to wait for service okay so probability that arriving truck will have to wait for service will be pb 1 minus p0 here p0 is 1 minus lambda upon mu okay so 1 minus 1 it will become 0 and minus minus it will become plus so lambda upon mu that is 12 by 18 and after simplifying, I will get 0 
6667 okay so when i will convert this into percentage i will get 66.67 percent okay so these are the required problem based on the first model okay so friends if you like my video please subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends thanks for watching